What's up, y'all? Today we're in Ackworth, Georgia, and we're going to go on a virtual tour of the city. So hopefully you get a good idea of what it's like living in this area. I know many people who are thinking about moving to Atlanta and the metro area. They see these videos and we have a lot of kind of general videos about the cities, but we want to make these virtual tours so that you can get a much better idea of what the cities are like from the ground and from the city center. So let's go check out Ackworth. Ackworth is a much older city than some of the other suburbs of Atlanta, or maybe I should say it's more like this downtown city center area is much older than some of the other ones. Being so far from Atlanta, I'd say we're about, you know, a 45 to hour minute drive to Atlanta. This is not the kind of suburb that's going to have a newer city center or newer downtown area. This downtown area certainly has some age and it's very clear when you're walking through here that this is a, a much older area and it's not a bad thing necessarily. I mean, some of these stores have that kind of charm that you would only see in like a historic city. You know, this bookstore and coffee shop, like this is not something that you're going to find in Alpharetta. <laughs> or in any of the newer suburbs you know this is only really something that you're going to see in an older suburb like ackworth that still has a lot of these original stores so there's certainly a big plus to living in an area like this that has preserved that historic charm in fact let's go check out this bookstore and see what it's like man how about this this is something from Decades ago, this is really not so This place is called the conservatory. I'm pretty sure this is a restaurant, but I don't see Like a menu or anything. I was hoping to find a menu on the door Don't see one here, but there's actually quite a few shops and restaurants here Let's see if we can find another one this restaurant is called Waterstone Events. This is an ice cream store here called Scoops. We got the rocking chairs there on the front of the store. Uh, candy and ice cream on the inside. Again, this is just not the kind of place that you would find in a newer city center. This is only something that you would find like in an older city center like Ackworth. Henry's is like the most popular restaurant here in Ackworth, Georgia. This is the one that I'm familiar with and everybody who comes to Ackworth tries Henry's at least once. Louisiana style food, super popular. Definitely a great place here in Ackworth if you're ever visiting. To give you a good idea of just how old this city is. I mean, this is probably a sign from like the 60s or 70s that they have still preserved here. Let's go a little further on down the road here. We'll check out the rest of this city center here in Ackworth. Downtown Ackworth is on the intersection here of Main Street and Lemon Street. And uh, Main Street is actually part of old Highway 41, but right here in the downtown area, it just turns into Main Street or they just call it Main Street. But for the most part, it's just this one main strip here. Um, downtown Ackworth is not really a huge area, but it is certainly growing. Again, as the metro Atlanta area grows, more people are starting to move out to the suburbs that are farther away from Atlanta. And so Ackworth is one of those suburbs that has kind of experienced that, that uh, boom in the growth. I'd say Ackworth is a good suburb for someone who is wanting to be in an area that has uh, lots of community and has a lower cost of living, Ackworth is certainly a good city for that. If you're thinking about moving to Ackworth, feel free to call, text, or email me anytime. I'm the one who answers those phone calls. I'm the one who answers those text messages. I'd be happy to help with your moving needs. And thank you so much to everybody who has reached out. I really am more than happy to help with your moving needs to the Ackworth area. But this is definitely a good area for young families. This is not like Atlanta, it's not like Sandy Springs. You know, there is great community here. Um, and then it's farther out. You're gonna get a lot of land for your home here in Ackworth because it's so much farther out from the city of Atlanta. I'd say the average home value in Ackworth is probably right around 400,000. There are certainly some homes that are as low as like 250 for a three bed, two bath home. 
and then as high as seven or eight hundred thousand for like a new construction like super new just a couple years old with high-end finishes you're looking at about seven or eight hundred thousand that probably has an acre or two of land but like for a typical three bed two bath home built in the last 10 to 20 years it's going to be closer to about four or five hundred thousand and that's definitely one of the biggest draws for why so many people are moving to aquas you know if you lived in an area that was closer to atlanta you typically see higher cost of living cities like marietta or roswell or binings you're going to see average home prices closer to five or six hundred thousand maybe even seven hundred thousand in like alpharetta so being able to be in an area where you can find a home for 400,000 is a really big plus for many people. Like many of the big suburbs here in Metro Atlanta, Ackworth is kind of uh, here because of the train station and the train tracks. As there were trains here a long time ago and you know it used to be used to deliver goods and things to the city, these are the cities that grew the most. So because of that you still have the train tracks that are going through the city and there certainly is still a train that comes through here and we also have the train station that was used i guess a long time ago most of these cities that have this train station here that are still up like ackworth i'm sure it's more like a, a museum now they usually just kind of use it as like a historical museum but it certainly is the reason why ackworth exists because it's on the line for the train tracks. Now, one thing about uh, downtown Ackworth is that across Main Street over here, they're starting to do a lot of developing. They've got some new homes for sale. They have some new commercial areas. They've got a, a new restaurant that's coming up soon, but they also have this park on this other side of Main Street. And this is kind of like Ackworth's you know green space they're like big green lawn area that all of these suburbs want to have it's found over here on the other side of main street a lot of people want to live in an area that has this kind of easy walkability to and from the you know the shopping and this is why a lot of these suburbs are building these homes right here in the city center areas you could live in one of these homes and just walk across the street to all of the shops and restaurants here in downtown Ackworth and so this is super convenient and it's becoming more and more popular as these cities are starting to grow especially these cities that are farther out in the metro Atlanta area. The heritage of Ackworth is what this like little neighborhood this little residential area is going to be named and so they're, they've got a lot of homes being built in this area and uh, I think a few of them have already sold I think people are already starting to move in but it's uh, certainly becoming very popular around here. Out there in the distance is like the big park that's in uh, downtown Ackworth. I think a few of you have asked about why the grass here in Georgia is brown. Um, it's actually not always brown. It's just brown right now because I'm filming in the winter time and this grass like becomes dormant during the winter. It's usually green, especially like in the spring and summer it's green but right now during the winter time this kind of typical georgia grass becomes brown also here really close to logan farm park are a few of these houses more houses that have been recently built to be easily walkable to downtown ackworth and then over here to the right is where i just was that had the uh, heritage farm homes i've actually never gone to the top of this bridge uh try and take these stairs to go to the top see what it's like I'm assuming we'll get a nice vantage point of the city here are these stairs here we go definitely a great view from up here really give you a good idea of what this city center area looks like kind of up here about uh, 30 or 40 feet on this bridge and then the other side kind of gives us a better idea of what the shops and the restaurants look like over there. And you can see the train track goes like right through the city. So this is super common in many of the suburbs and the train will definitely come through here. So if you lived close to this train track, it certainly would be um, annoying and you would definitely hear it. One of the best parts about living in Ackworth, in addition to like the historic charm and the city center here, is that it's so close to Lake Alatoona. So let's drive over 
to Lake Alatoon. It's about a five minute drive from this downtown area so you can see what that area is like. Okay, so we made it over here to Lake Alatuna. I almost forgot just how nice this area is. Again, this is just about a five minute drive from the downtown area. This is Cobble Park, and then right here next to Cobble Park is Lake Alatuna, and this small little section of the lake is actually considered Lake Ackworth, but it's connected to the much larger Lake Alatuna, and this is a big draw for many of the people who live here in Ackworth as being so close to the lake. It provides lots of different um, nature activities, especially for like kids. My kids love coming out here to the lake for swimming. We sometimes take the kayaks out. It's a great area, especially for experiencing nature. You know, it's not really something that you can experience in some of the other suburbs of Metro Atlanta. It's hard to find green space and um, this kind of lake experience in a city like Atlanta or Marietta. So to be able to have this in one of the suburbs of Atlanta is a huge plus and really is one of the big reasons why people are moving to Ackworth. I mean, I'm just walking around here and enjoying the park and I just forgot how great this part of Ackworth is. I mean, there's just not very many places in Metro Atlanta that you don't find a big crowd you know to have an area like this where there's like there's almost nobody here and i just am blown away that there aren't more people here today I mean, it's so nice and it's so peaceful and i can hear the birds and it is just this is definitely one of the highlights of living in ackworth there really are just so many benefits of living in ackworth from the community to the parks and the green space to the historic charm that you find in downtown Ackworth, but there really are some downsides to living here. And some of those downsides are big red flags for a lot of people who are considering moving here. If you want a full list of the pros and the cons of living in Ackworth, Georgia, check out this video. I'll see you there.